Now, when you go to a museum, you expect to see ancient, priceless or rare treasures. So you may find it surprising that the Museum of London is collecting placards from last weekend's anti-cuts demonstrations in the capital as exhibits. Why? Alice Van der has been finding out. The posters and placards of a protest. The cause in 1910, the women's vote. And the suffragettes put all their efforts into their banners, sometimes risking life and limb to make their point. Wave after wave of women, some of whom carried placards, were punched, knocked down and trampled on. A century later, and the propaganda looks slightly different. Roughly made, disposable banners, but messages all the same. And the Museum of London is keeping an archive of protest posters, collecting for the future. Although you might say, like with the march on Saturday, there'll be lots of film footage and newspaper coverage. The material culture, to use the museum term, is really important to keep because it's through this that people in a hundred years, a thousand years time, will understand what it was like to live in London in 2011 and some of the causes that people got um, felt passionately about. These students from Goldsmiths College are collecting placards from last Saturday's Cuts demo and they want your help this weekend. On Saturday, we're asking people to come to the museum and give their protest material that they would like the museum to remember the demonstration by so the people on the march are deciding how it's remembered. For many, the TV footage of last Saturday highlighted the rogue element anarchists stealing the limelight from hundreds of thousands of peaceful protesters. Archivists hope the placards they collect will capture the mood and spirit of the majority. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News.